spirit of place. Okay, it's showing another card that um, is expressing to, you know, go outside. Mm-hmm. Again, you could be saying 444, this is, you know, what occurs, you know, restoration and restore um, in nature. When the seasons change, this is telling you that, again, the inevitable is change. That's one thing that's constant, that's always happening in our lives, is change. And it can cause us to go through a, a life and rebirth or just death and rebirth and transformations and my gosh collective a lot of <laughs> uh, my gosh a lot of karma but you know if it's meant for us to go through that transformation for our highest good you know we reap dharma but seasons change like in our lives we have to flow we have to ride the wave as in the seasons and when they change that's how we have to be in our lives easy said than done wow collective you I could be talking to someone that's a part of the 144 Mm -hmm. chosen ones we have to ride ride the wave wow collective mm -hmm. finding our spirit of place outside in nature you know when we're feeling that urge and nudge to go outside go for a spring walk a sprint walk, whatever you want to call your walks, you know, it can lead from walking to sprinting to jogging, collective, working on our health and our body, stepping outside um, is like just a, a, it's like a glass of water, it's so fresh, crisp, and clean to our energy, it cleans our mindset it cleans our energy it fuels our energy because we want to see sun we want to smell some fresh breath of our burst of air mm -hmm. we want to fill it we want to taste it so we have to find sometimes put ourselves out there um, we have to find our spirit place to go to, to enjoy to ourselves or with someone else, because it's showing two dolphins here, having fun. But sometimes, you know, when you're going to your special sacred place, you have to do it alone, by yourself, getting in tune and in touch, grounding yourself again in nature cleansing your energies so this is a message for uh, my chosen ones as well this is what we need to do to cleanse and clear the energies that we feel that is heavy that I expressed earlier uh -huh. to restore and replenish wow our mind body spirits and souls my gosh I am taking that for myself. Unexpected visitors. This looks very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Very, very mysterious. Okay. <laughs> you could be expecting unexpected visitors from the uh, spirit realms. Um, maybe uh, spirit animals could be coming to see you check up on you the cards that um, I pulled out earlier was of an owl you may have a spirit guide or spirit animal of an owl you may have a spirit guide or spirit animal of a rabbit I'm seeing a frog mm-hmm there 
there's a bird right there. You can't really see it, but I have to look for you, Collective. There go the frog or the toad. Okay. Those could be your totems or your spirit animals. Beautiful. This girl here is looking. You know, she seemed very, very um, suspicious. You could be very, very suspicious of your the spirit realms connecting with you, uh, wanting to uh, help guide you, cleanse you, restore, and replenish your energy, and just, you know, be around you in your presence. You be around them. You connecting with the spirit world and as well as your spirit family, the higher realms. Possibly, again, they're coming to to help you they're coming to comfort you nurture you surprise you with something good <laughs> because they see how hard collective that you have been setting you've been setting your intentions In your spirit place where wherever your spirit place can be you know it could be in your home it could be outside this is encouragement to do so but it could be in your home it could be anywhere but you have an unexpected visitor that's coming to answer your intentions and wish that you've prayed for you've asked for the request you sent up into the higher realms for your highest good the intentions you set they're coming down they heard your prayers it will be answered in due time as you sent your prayers up you know you had to balance your life you had to balance other things maybe you wasn't expecting or, or didn't think your prayers were being answered or heard but it is it has been heard and at the same time you set those intentions you're balancing yourself uh huh and you're riding the waves of life and what it brings trying to enjoy it trying to be in a happy state of mind and an energy you're riding the waves of life and you're balancing just everything that comes at you with grace with gratitude with joy with peace with love and it can be a little daunting i'm sure it can be hard i expressed that before but you're balancing it still you haven't given up you're riding the waves so now an unexpected visitor is coming regarding this the you know the prayers and things that you've set intentions to they're coming to help you they're coming to replenish you restore you bless you collective that is beautiful my gosh collective I'm loving this message you have unexpected visitors that is coming to help you for your highest good depends on the intentions you set <laughs> if you have set intentions that wasn't good those are the intentions that's coming down the visitors that's coming down if you have set intentions that wasn't good for your for yourself or towards others other visitors are coming down <laughs> collective yes they're coming down because it was the four was it what's the 411 <laughs> oh my gosh yeah you set intentions that wasn't good towards yourself and others yeah what's the 411 
Mm-hmm. What's the emergency? What 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 is so important? We have to be careful the intentions that we set. Uh-huh. We have to be careful on intentions that we set for ourselves and towards others because that's the unexpected visitor that we're going to receive. That was another scenario I got from these cards, a story. Mm-hmm. Collective. Wow. Taking a deep breath. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out, collective. All right, I want to clarify with my teller like it is deck. Okay. So, um, the first card that came out was the owl. Mm. I could be talking to a rich spirit. You see the, uh, yeah, the evil eye protection. So if you are rich in spirit, you are protected, collective. This could stand for a male or females. Uh huh. Blessings is coming. That's a picture sign of money. My gosh, I'm surprised my hands are not itching. But this is telling you that in <laughs> what you pray for is coming you know and it depends on your energy your intentions and your soul and your spirit of what you'll receive it's going to be either what you set it's either going to be karma or dharma collective mm -hmm. that is clarifying the intentions with the owl Okay, so the other card that came out, I believe it was uh -huh, Balancing Act with the boat. Do your shadow work. Exactly. We have to learn to balance, and I was saying that with the yin and yang, the good and the bad. Uh huh. With grace, with faith, with optimism, with determination. Yes, we can get in our emo bag plenty of times. We can get in our heads plenty of times. But we continue to work on ourselves to replenish and restore our mind, body, spirit, and soul. To become new again, whole again. And that's doing your shadow work, collective. Beautiful. And I, like I said before, it's <laughs> it's not um, always going to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the other card that came out, I believe, was the, um, not sure, I think it was the Unexpected Visitors. Like I was saying before, it depends on what you set intentions to, what you're doing in your life to balance yourself. I'm going to go ahead and move this over so you can see. On the intentions and the visitors you're going to receive in return, what's going to come to answer your prayers? Who's going to come to answer your prayers? It could be of good karma or it could be of bad. Uh huh. So if my collective or whoever is setting, you know, not so good intentions, this is what's going to occur. This is for the unexpected visitor. I'm going to pull out. Yeah, let's see. What's. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure I be certain on the cards for the unexpected visitor. Ancestors and spirit guides. What card should we use for the unexpected visitor? 
What card should we use for the unexpected visitor? Oh, so I'm using my um, Tell It Like It Is deck, not my new deck. What card to clarify the unexpected visitor? What card to clarify the unexpected visitor? That look very mysterious, hopeful. Oh. The Prince of Egypt. So I'm happy I shuffled. <laughs> so yes, yeah, someone, something ancient is coming to see you, collective. Whoever this may pertain to. Mm -hmm. And it is displaying this beetle of protection. So it's, again, it's ancient. Okay, for this energy or for someone to come to you with this type of presence and energy. My gosh, Collective, you've done a lot of shadow healing. Mm -hmm. Your spirit and whatever intentions you set. is worth this energy coming to you ancient energy i might say that is protected that is royal mm. if you are in your north node you know you're working on yourself you're trying to restore replenish or you are your spirit mind body and soul and your just on your path. Let me see what's on my other new deck since I mentioned that. Let's see what's on the top there. Okay. Yes. So this is my new deck here um, called The Life of a Healer. If you are following your north node, my gosh, collective, let's see what's under this. Wow, collective. If you are following your north node, what else is going to come from this unexpected visitor is spirit guide animals. I talked about that earlier. An ancient soul, an ancient presence is coming or is around you now protecting you, collective, as well as your spirit animal, spirit kingdom, spirit world is coming to protect you, coming to be around you, nurture you, help you, especially if you are in your north node, my collective, mm. working on your shadow work, yes, <sighs> beautiful, so that's going to go with that. And the Prince of Egypt. Love it. Love it, love it, collective. All right, we're going to go ahead and clarify mm. from again my decks. Can we clarify um, which one? What was the other one? Spirit of Place. Spirit of Place my ancestors and spirit guides spirit of place any messages from my tell it like it is deck regarding the spirit of place as representing connection and being grounded and just getting in tune working from the inner to see change from the outer Whoa. Any messages from my tell like it is deck? Okay, a lot is flipping out. So this flipped over. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so it said here. Yes, we are just stardust. My gosh. So the spirit realms, I just was saying, of connecting with the universe and with Mother Nature, Mother Gaia, 
uh-huh. to connect with our soul, replenish, and re-cleanse, and restore our human body, okay? They want to work with us, the universe, the earth, to help us pick up our pieces, to help us fill in our pieces that could be missing. Mm -hmm. Wow, collective. Let's see. Maybe one more card. Yes. Because the spirit realms, the universe, Mother Nature, know you are a diamond in a rough. And this looks like this is out in nature, in the mountains. That's where you find, you know, those kind of materials, the jewels, you know, in caves and in and, and, and the mountains, in the ground of nature okay you are a diamond and a rough collective beautiful and my deck keeps just pulling out good <laughs> energy so when you connect in the spirit realms and out in nature to replenish and restore and to fulfill the missing pieces of yourself They hear you, they see you, blessings come, blessings come. That is beautiful for that card. Nice. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to keep going with this deck. Mm -hmm. From my other deck, it showed... Um, for the spirit of place, my new deck, life of a healer, mystic healer, uh-huh, for that spirit of place, wow, a lot of cards is coming out for that, <laughs> you could be an angelic healer, mm -hmm. going into your spirit of place, mmm, Okay, so a lot came out with that one, my gosh, beautiful, for the ride the waves, under, um, uh, under this, my first deck here, tell it like it is, from that whole pile that fell, you rock. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's what Mother Gaia is saying. This is what the world is saying to you, Collective. You rock. Continue to ride the waves. Okay? Transmute in your energies like I did with the basil, you know, with the message. To get this message, to get into this energy, I transmute it. Uh-huh. The heavy energies continue to find creative ways to transmute your situations in your life mm -hmm. whether it's heavy or not you know if you are at a, at a hard what is it a rock in a hard place you have to find other ways to get out of situations, transmute the energies, ride the waves, going with the flow. Trust me, it's not easy, I know. <laughs> it's not. But I rode the waves with faith, with optimism, with joy. Trust me. I have cried, I have prayed, I had hope, faith, and belief, but it wasn't easy, riding the waves, but I lived in the moments, mm -hmm, collective, I'm encouraging you to live and be present in the moment, and each and everything you do, 
enjoy the journey enjoy the waves enjoy the flow always show gratitude because you don't know what doors may open to overflow of good karma or a dharma of blessings okay continue to go with the flow and ride the waves the best way you can but don't give up collective because you don't know how your tomorrow may end up what doors may open for you just what may happen for your highest good don't give up I didn't mm -hmm. you rock I'm just reminding you you rock that's what this card is displaying here for the dolphin Martin Lawrence yes continue to have laughter within yourself and optimism uh -huh. find things to make you laugh to you know get your energy out of the funk that you could be in or out of the mud that you could be stuck in you know find something to pick you up pick I've just heard a picker upper <laughs> Oh my gosh, whether that is something you find on television to um, uplift your energy. That's what I'm talking about. Transmuting the energies out of these dark energies that you, that, you know, the world throws at us, people project at us, that we go through here in this matrix. We have to have some balance. This is what we go through. We have to find some balance when we're going through the dark night of the soul or just, you know, within our shadow work. My gosh, collective. We got to laugh sometime. Mm -hmm. We got to have some fun sometime. We got to enjoy this life the best we can while you're going through your north nodes on your self-love spiritual journey mm, collective we have to find joy on this journey we have to find beauty in the struggle we have to find joy in spite of the pain we have to find the sunshine in spite of the rain collective mm. ride the waves Ride the waves. Mm, collective. That was deep. Ride the waves. Yes. Let's continue to have, from my other new deck, an abundant mindset. Okay? You may like unicorns, or you look at yourself as a unicorn. This is representing using our, again, mindset and our third eye, our sixth sense, okay? Collective. Seeing things in a higher perspective. Uh-huh. Continue working on our mindset when we're setting intentions. Mm-hmm. Easy said than done, but we have to continue to try to think with a higher perspective when we're setting intentions abundant mindset claiming back our energy and our power balancing our shadow self and our and our, our light self our north nodes uh -huh, from our south nodes mm -hmm. enjoying the journey that we're on at this time in this place in life and just time that you're in enjoying each and every moment mm. with an abundant mindset yes from the top continue to do your clearing magical space continue to clean and cleanse yourself mm -hmm. like I said that was representing the basil leaf 
magical space this is our space this is your space collective and I want to create a safe magical place for your highest good healing space for your highest good continue to awaken your mindset to look at things in a higher perspective to have an abundant mindset continue to clear your space mm, my north nodes mm -hmm. and if you're in the south node working on getting out of it yes it does take this cleaning and clearing setting intentions doing your shadow work mm -hmm. going into your special sacred space calling and setting intentions on your ancestors to come and help you the animal kingdom to come and help you the ancient realms to come and help you to cleanse and clean and restore replenish to put you on a right path myself no people I believe you can become whoever you want to become and to get into your north node you have a chance to change your life around because you rock as well and you can ride the wave in your own way with your own healing in your own energy mm, collective it depends on what road you want to travel on but definitely cleanse your space Okay, I could be talking to Aquarius. Uh huh. It says this talks about friendship, hopes, and wishes. My gosh, you could have this in your uh, house. Okay, this could be talking directly to an Aquarius. Okay, this is talking about the eleventh house, setting intentions, friendships hope and wishes we talked about that earlier wishes mm, setting intentions you could be seeing 11 11 